Hey there everybody. Today we're gonna try a little recipe to make some sugar cakes for feeding bees over the winter time. Uh, this year will be a year where one of our hives is definitely going to need some supplements. They had a poor, very, very poor year of producing honey. Um, but anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, mix some sugar, a little bit of water, and we're going to put them in these nice molds that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, these molds are pretty good universal molds. Um, we use them to make our, or to put our beeswax in. It, it does a nice job. See, and you can't beat a silicone mold, you know, for, you know, that, that size for a dollar. Maybe you, know, you get two of them for a dollar. That's what we got them for, two for a dollar. So, but anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to mix some sugar. Now, I'm just trying this out. I Before I buy some sugar cane sugar, I, I'm just going to use some regular cheapo sugar from the store. But we're going to use a mixer this time and uh, we'll slowly start putting the water in. But let me go ahead and get the ingredients and everything together and I'll show you exactly what we're going to use. So here are our ingredients. We have six ounces of water. We have four pounds of granulated sugar and we have the beating or the bee feeding stimulant mix that I that I use. This is the bee stuff that uh, Don uh, Kukumiter, I, I think I just made or said his name wrong, but um, what he does is he takes one tablespoon of um, tea tree oil, one tablespoon of uh, peppermint or wintergreen oil, and then he puts it in his blender and he uh, emulsifies it pretty much, homogenizes it with the blender and just lets it go and go and go. And I've had this for a while and you can see that this is still mixed very well and I didn't have to have any kind of stimulants and the bees like drinking this stuff better than they like drinking the Honey Bee Healthy I've noticed. We have Honey Bee Healthy and it just does not work very well so but let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna and this time instead of hand stirring it, hand mixing it, I'm gonna use a mixer with a dough uh, a dough molding attachment to see if it'll mix a little bit better just because I get a little impatient Okay, well we have our water in here right now and what I'm going to try is just to slowly add sugar into it. And I don't remember if I said pri or previous in the video, but I had the six ounces of water, but I also added one tablespoon of that mix into the water. Um, it's pretty strong, so uh, it, it, hopefully it'll help the bees uh, come on over and uh, stimulate them to uh, drink a little bit. So. Well, I find that this mixes really well using the mixer. It's uh, quite a bit easier. Now, I've made other other things to help you know feed the bees during the winter time, but a lot of times it's just really labor intensive, and when you have to make a lot of them, you just tend to put it off until you end it up until you really really need them. So, I'm just slowly adding the sugar in here more and more and more, and then I'll. Turn the mixer off, kind of hand fold it into the center and get it to go again. Now, if you need to make a bigger batch or a smaller batch, what I've done is it's pretty much one and a half ounces of water per pound of sugar. So if you can only make three pounds or only want to make three pounds or if you want to make ten pounds, you know, there you go. Just uh, scale it up a little bit. So. But we're mixing it really good. This this looks like it's pretty pretty uh, good so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the camera down and start folding this in for a minute. All right. So all the sugars it, it's in there. Now it's just mixing, and I just kind of occasionally fold it down on the sides here if needed. This is quite a bit easier than you know sitting over the stove making fondant or the sugar blocks or the not the sugar blocks but the candy boards now some people use the mountain method which is just sprinkling sugar on uh, you know cardboard or newspaper and it helps absorb the moisture and everything but if you guys remember I put the wood shavings in our beehive to help absorb the moisture and help kind of airflow a little bit and 
the big thing is when I open up the hives because we're here in Ohio and we don't really I mean we have swings in temperature but when it's cold it stays cold for a long time and we usually don't have a break so what I need to do is if I want to be able to feed the bees I want to be able to open up the hive just a little bit and shove in this cake and not have to worry about losing too much heat from the bees. So we're just about done mixing it here. You can see that it's nice and incorporated. There's no extra water sitting on the bottom here. It's a really nice packable patty. You see that? It's nice. Nice and forming. So I'm just going to go ahead and start packing these in the silicone molds. Now, when we did this last year, we went to Dollar Tree and just bought the tin molds, or not tin molds, but the little tin containers, just like you get your Chinese food in and everything, like your sweet and sour chicken and all that. The only problem is, is it's really hard to get some of the stuff out of there, so they break apart. Now, what I figured out is that we should be able to get one pound of sugar per mold because that's about as much beeswax I get is about a pound of beeswax so I should only need four of them and the last thing that I'm gonna do is I have all three of these sugar cakes made but while it's still kinda of warm I wanna see if they'll uh, start eating or if they'll start eating uh, a mix of this so I have some homemade bee pro here it's pretty much just, you know, brewer's yeast and soy flour. Uh, you know, you can buy some, but I just don't feel like it. This seems to work all right. But anyways, I'm going to mix probably about, let's say, a tablespoon in there. Maybe a little bit more than that. Probably a little bit more than that. And I'm going to see if they're going to eat this at all. Uh, so that way I have sugar cakes that have protein and everything in it too. So if I'm doing emergency feeding, I'm giving them carbohydrates, but uh, they're also getting a little bit of protein as well. Well, it looks like we're all set. We have everything done. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to tell just because the lights above us are <clears throat> a little bit yellow. Maybe you can. But this is the patty that has the B-Pro mixed into it, about a tablespoon or two. And then these are the sugar cakes. So what I'm going to do is just let these sit overnight and just let them dry a little bit and harden up. And then when I'm ready to put them in the beehives, we'll just uh, take them out there and put them in there and test them out. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up button and leave your comments below and stay tuned.